It's all it's right all to right. be just, just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just, just the right vibration. With that, With that in mind, you should understand, understand God's, God's completely God. insane. <laughs>
That's why people don't see it like you do. They don't see the beauty and the magnificence. They're blind to the idea. We know where this is going. The potentials are grand and it's not going to happen overnight. One step closer to a healed planet. One step closer to a peaceful planet. It's going to take two generations before you really notice it. But when you do, the planet will actually have Planetary Peace Day where they will realize what they've done and celebrate a change of consciousness. Blessed is the human being who starts to understand and recognize the impossible. Things that don't make sense to you in an old paradigm as the beauty of the love of God. Now go and do something with this. Live differently because of it. You've got to start moving from that paradigm which restricts everything you do to a reality of sameness and singularity to one that opens the potentials of change for everything. Change in who you are, how you react to things. Who you think you are, who you were born to be. All of it rewritable into a paradigm that is multidimensional and includes the love of God and the joy of the moment. What am I saying to you? I am saying that you're going to remain unhappy, dear one, whoever you are reading this and hearing this. There is no hope unless you decide to turn inward and find that which is divine, which is multidimensional, and start the process we've talked about. Otherwise, you're simply wallow in the drama. And you might say, well, I've tried. Trying is not doing. And you know that. There is more to the puzzle than you have experienced. If you are one who says this, you've got to experience this joy and throw away all of the things that you think irritate you. Throw away all of the things you think you are in order to capture that which is grander and bigger than you ever thought could be. That is who the human being is. We've talked about the change of consciousness changing a planet from one which always warred with itself to one will eventually be at peace with itself and you think that's going to happen easily and overnight. This is the first year You've got 18 years to plant the seeds and two more generations to watch it work. This is how humanity works. It's slow and you're impatient. That's why there's so much unhappiness at the moment. Impatience, misunderstanding, wanting instant gratification, thinking you're doing something and tapping your toe while you think God helps you. And then when it doesn't happen tomorrow saying, well, I knew it wouldn't. Hmm? You tell me, is that commitment or is that trying? Hmm? Is this too strong for you? To say that you are beautiful inside and it's about time you found it. It's about time you found it. And when you find it, you settle down. You don't get as angry, you don't get as depressed, you don't react. And then people around you see you in that state and they go, you know, you're different. You're not as angry. You don't react. <laughs> what have you got? I want it. And that's how it begins. You shine a light and others see it and they want theirs because it is beautiful. It is satisfying. And we tell you again, when you walked with the masters, any of them, how did you feel? Did they look at you and annihilate you? Do they say bad things to you? And the answer is no. They looked at you, they looked through you, they love you, and you were speechless. Some of you were there. Hmm? And you remember, all you want to do is be in their presence. It's almost like they got a field around them, and if you can be close to them, you'll get it too. This is the love of God in a human being that emanates 
divinity.